Howdy, it's Herb again. Wanted to uh, show the progress that I made on my little uh, uh, Eagle engine. It's uh, Bob Shore's uh, uh, castings. Uh, basically, all the castings were was the head and uh, the base and two uh, uh, caps for the bearings and the two flywheels. Uh, so the progress I've made on it uh, here is I've got the uh, the uh, crankshaft uh, in there and uh, got uh, uh, got it turning on bearings. I've got the uh, two flywheels uh, finally uh, uh, together. I had to uh, redo those a couple of times. And there's a piston in there that uh, uh, I'll turn around and show here. Uh, you see here, this is the spark plug. This is the inlet valve. And I've just got a plug in here for the where the, the fuel mixture goes. And this is the uh, exhaust valve. I don't have any of the, the valve uh, stuff done yet. That's, that's next on the agenda. Of course, the little spark plug. And this is just a... Uh, piece of aluminum in there that uh, uh, for for a, an exhaust, and I'm certainly going to uh, redo that. Uh, but it uh, seems to be working. What I uh, I expanded the uh, coolant tank on this with a little block of aluminum, and uh, Mike can see down in there that. Uh, the uh, aluminum head has got a cast iron cylinder sleeve and the piston is cast iron. Uh, still have to uh, lap the valves, put rings on the piston, and uh, so there's quite a bit of work yet to be done on it, but I'm, uh, I'm pleased with it so far. So that's just an update on the uh, the Eagle engine. Uh, these are still available, I understand, from Margaret Shores. I mean, they're about $110 for the kit. Uh, and the spark plug's uh, about $15, something like that. I'm not sure. It's the same spark plug that they use in model aircraft. Uh, but there's a, there's a lot of work uh, uh, done on it. So, anyway, uh, I've been working on this for well over a year and just when I get to it and was able to uh, finish up the flywheel uh, flywheels today I had to build some inserts and uh, re uh, taper an insert, insert and press it into the flywheel to uh, fit the taper on the, on the uh, crankshaft and it grips the it grips the uh, flywheel very well now. Before it was sort of loose and uh, wasn't, uh, wasn't real square. So anyway, I think I've got it, uh, got it squared away. Uh, thanks for watching.